Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to the makeup community. If this is your first time here, my name's Chris. I'll be your cruise director. We believe that makeup is for everybody, every gender, every skin tone, every income level, every ability, and every disability. You're going to notice in my voice and in my hands that I have tremors. That's how everything got started. Wanted to show that just because you have some special considerations doesn't mean that you can't get a little confidence through beauty. I know I feel better when I feel like I look good. So we are for everybody though. If you love makeup, if you're a makeup pro, makeup maven, or you're new to makeup, or just like it, please hit that subscribe button. And we are a brand new channel, so please spread the word. That's probably the best thing you could do. So today I have a request for an eye tutorial with eyeshadow and liner. And since I am super excited for fall, I'm going to do a nice cozy fall look. So I'm going to use the third Tartlet palette, the toasted palette. And it has nice toasty colors, perfect for fall. You don't have to use this specific palette. You can use anything you like. I'm just going to use, you know, in terms of light, medium, dark, shimmery descriptions for you. So that way you can use whatever you want. So to start this out, I've already primed my eyes. And I'm going to go in with a skin tone shade. So we're just going to put that all over the lid. And that just helps your eyeshadow to blend easier. If you go straight in over the tacky surface of the eyeshadow primer, it you're not going to be able to blend very well. So we're just going to do this since we don't want everything nice and blended. There we are. All right. So don't go diving into dark shades immediately in your crease. It's not going to end up looking that great. A better way to do it is to go in with what we call a transition shade, which is a medium toned shade, darker than your eyelid in the colors that you're using. So I usually go in with two, to be honest with you. So I'm going to start out with this kind of darker peach here, if you can see that, with the glare of the light. There we go. I'm going to go in with that here. It's a little darker than the skin tone. Some people say to go like this only into out in your crease. Some people say use the windshield wiper. It's whatever feels good to you. So we are going to place this in the crease. Start out lighter and then work your way deeper because it is much easier to build up than take off. So I'm going to put a little bit more on my brush here and I'm also going to get this last kind of third of my eyelid. And those lights, I'm still trying to work on my lights. They make me look really pale. Alright. I do have a little bit of kickback in the palette here in case you are interested in using this palette. I love Tarte eyeshadows but I am getting some kickback. There we go. And let's go in one more time just to deepen that up just a little bit. There we go. Alright, so we have that set. Let me blow off my kickback. And I'm going to take a smaller crease brush and I'm going to go into this color next to that peach. No one. There we go. Right, I don't want to dip into other flavors. Alright, so I'm going to put that also in my crease, but I'm going to keep it lower than the original one. Something you want to keep in mind, the darker the shade, the lower you want to go. So I'm going to pop this in here and get that in my crease there with a nice fluffy brush. Also bring that here. Make sure that's blended in. This is getting on my eyelid, but that is not a big deal. The center of my eyelid, because what we're going to do is going to take care of that. And you might want it just to stay on your 
on your eyelid there. There we go. Make sure I get that on that outer third. Just gonna deepen that just a little bit there. Like I said, it's easier to go darker as you go than it is to go in with dark and then try to lighten it up because <laughs> that does not work. All right, now I'm going to go in with the darkest tone. I am going to use a small brush and I am going to go in with my darker tone, my darkest tone that I'm going to use, which is right here. And with this, you don't want to go all the way in your crease. You want to just put it right in this outer V. There we go. Imagine a sideways V on the edge of your eye right here. And that's where you want to go. So bring it onto your little, little bit. And that's just going to darken things up at the edge. Deepen it up a little bit. So basically we used a skin tone shadow as a base, two medium tones, one lighter, one deeper, and then a darker tone out here on the corners. Now we're not going to ignore our lower lashes, we'll, our lower lash line, we'll get to that. So I'm going to take a shadow brush, just a flat shadow brush here, and I'm going to go into, this is so pretty, this is a very pretty shimmer shade right there, and we're going to put that on our lid, starting in the middle and overlapping just a little bit on this outer, the one on the outer third, but don't bring it all the way out. And I'm going to pat that on since it is a shimmer shade. You can even use your fingers or wet your brush depending on the intensity. So I'm patting it over so it overlaps just a little bit. There we go. Let's do that again. And once again I got a kickback on this palette. At least I'm not getting fallout on my face, but there's a lot of kickback in this. Just a mental note. I guess I forgot about that. It's okay. Tarte shadows are really good though, so. Go. Pat that on and make sure it overlaps. And now what I'm going to do Besides blow away the kickback. I'm going to take a super fluffy, clean, big blending brush. This is from Morphe. I think it costs six or eight, six or eight bucks. And I am just going to ever so lightly, don't put much pressure, ever so lightly just blend. I'm just going to take this over where we have those three different tones and just blend. Just to get those harsh edges out. All right, so let's take a little brush, and you can use a pencil brush, you can use a smudger brush, you can use uh, an angled brush. We're just going to take a little brush, and we are going to apply one of the mid-tones, the darker mid-tone, underneath the eye, and make sure it connects. And then everything's kind of brought together. Then I'm going to take a smaller, bring that one out a little further over here. Make sure it's nice and blended, no harsh edges. And I'm going to take a smaller smudge brush or angle brush. Here, I'll take the angle one. And I'm going to go into the deepest tone and I'm going to press that right up against my lower lash line. So 
Sorry, I was kind of out of frame there. I was pressing it up against my lower lash line. All right. So we've got the eye shadow done. Oh, nope. I lied. We're going to put a little highlight up here underneath the brow. I'm going to take a little shimmery shade and put that underneath the brow over here. I hope I wasn't out of frame for most of this. If I was, I'm really sorry. There we go. Put that there. And let's put a little pop in the middle. Just to lighten it up. I'm still trying to figure out my lighting. I look so pale in the monitor. Hopefully it doesn't look that pale. Alright, that's it for the shadow. I'm going to use two different kinds of liners uh, just to show them. So, even more fall out on my table. So, I'm going to use a liquid liner on the top. And I'm not going to make a wing or anything. I'm just going to trace right next to my lash line with this. Just a thin line. There we go. You're not supposed to tug your eyes like I just did, but I did. There. All right. Let me do the other one. If you're unsure with liquid wood liner, just practice. If I can do it with my trimmers, you can do it too. There we go. Check that up close. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm just going to deepen the, make the corners just a little. Here we go. Just a little thicker. Alright, now I'm going to use a pencil liner. And I'm going to put it in the waterline. Oh, my lower lashes. They're both black, by the way. A lot of times I'll play with color on the lower. There we go. And we'll put on some mascara. Finish the look. You can also, if you want to, you can actually put, this is a little trick to make your lashes look fuller, Put the pencil liner in the upper waterline. That actually works too. Okay, let's curl these lashes. Now everybody's holding their breath. <laughs> There's actually a surgery for the trimmers that I am going to have to. Now, I'm going to do my bottom lashes before I do my top lashes because I tend to open my eyes real big when I put on mascara. And if I have mascara on the top lashes and open my eyes like that, the mascara transfers onto my eyelid. So, we're just going to skip the mess. There we go. All right. Do these top lashes. Well, this is a good fall look. Like I said, I'm not saying you have to use the tar palette. Um, but coppers and caramels and golds are great for fall. You get those dark lips out. Now, I'm going to be reviewing. I have a lot of new eyeshadow palettes uh, that I will be reviewing and some holiday palettes. And I will do a demo with each one of those and different ways to do eyeliner and eyeshadow. So, this is just one of a ton of eye tutorials that are coming up. So, don't worry. But this one is easy. It looks uh, good on everybody. If you want to do a smoky eye, this is a great way to do a smoky eye. Christmas parties and stuff coming up. Smoky eyes look really good. Copper smoky eyes usually look good on everybody. Alright. So that is it. That is it for today. I hope that you found this helpful. 
let me know what you think. I will talk to you guys in the comments down below, but please join us if you love makeup and spread the word. We are a new channel, so if you know anybody who loves makeup, invite them to come here. Hopefully, we could get a nice big community where everybody can learn new things and teach new things and just have fun. All right, so that's about it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.